Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, uh, selamat sejahtera. I'm recording this uh, presentation uh, just to uh, introduce myself because uh, we haven't met. Uh, the first half of this semester, uh, I have agreed with Prof. Uh, Dr. Fazila should be taking the first half um, of the semester. So I think this is already week uh, four, is it? Or week five. Then uh, after the first half of the semester, I will uh, take over. But anyway, I think we are, I can start to have uh, some interaction uh, with you because now in the world of digital or online, uh, we can always learn uh, even if we don't meet uh, physically in person. So uh, I just want to uh, go through some of the things that I think you need to know. So um, on the screen, you can see I have set up uh, online platform and online platform here using Google Classroom. Of course, you know how to use our eLearn platform, but uh, I'm just uh, using Google Classroom here just to give you the experience to experience another online platform. So this is the one, and uh, I think most of you have already registered. For those who have not um, registered yet, please do so because uh, I've created this platform for us to have the interaction and have a conversation on the topic. Uh, it's good to always uh, talk about the subject, not only to focus on uh, what matters, uh, which basically want to focus on the content for the exam, but there is more to it. You know, you must uh, continue to have a con conversation on the subject matter so that you can learn more, just not uh, just uh, not just to focus on the exam, okay? So this is the platform. Um, so basically when you log in, you can see the main page here and it should be under the, the menu here. There are four, stream, classwork, people, and grades. Stream is where the page where you can find all the letters posting, uh, announcement, anything from me. And also if uh, other students in the class post anything on this page, you will see it here. So this is where uh, it will, you know, it's kind of one-stop center where all the letters posting from me, from Dr. Fazila, and from other students will be uh, displayed here. Then uh, under the classwork, basically uh, you can see um, I have uh, I've create, created a section here on course information, and you can, you know, see these are the content the items that you can uh, read. Uh, slide presentation here where you will find all the PowerPoint presentation on the topics. Uh, currently, you can see only some of it. Um, Dr. Fazila and I will upload more the content uh, that we cover in this course. So you can get all the PowerPoint presentation here. And uh, there are some notes already available. I have uploaded some of it and there will be more. So you will have all the content you need uh, to study uh, for this course. And the assignment, you can find the assignment. Uh, so apart from the group assignment, which is a round table discussion, uh, I'll be giving a small assignment. And I think Dr. Fazila also will be giving you uh, some small assignment, which uh, you have to do as part of the uh, overall assessment. And you can also access each section here uh, individually. You can find on the menu on the left. Or uh, here you can actually go through some of the, you know, you can see the calendar here, or the, the to-do list, things that you need to do, um, including the assignment that you have to uh, do. So this is basically how to navigate your uh, platform. It's very simple and very straightforward. There's also a website um, called the Science of Food Ingredients. This is actually a very comprehensive website. Website, So you can uh, come here and just browse the, what's available on this uh, website. But you will find a lot of uh, materials or resources for each of the ingredient group that we cover in this course. So you just go through each of this category and uh, when you click it will take you to the resources for that particular topic. For example, here, food emulsifiers. So when you click that, 
it will uh, display the page and these are the resources which uh, we have put together for you so you will have more than actually what you need to study for this course because uh, you are the 21st century learners we don't expect you just to read to read what is necessary for the exam you have to go beyond that so feel free to explore the website here because uh, we have given you all the resources you will need for this course okay another one there's also a facebook page so i want you to also browse through and and i mean uh, join this Facebook page. There are also additional content on this page, which, we, uh, which will uh, help you to, you know, to learn more about this course. And I want to introduce to you the three websites which will uh, really, uh, which are very, very useful for not only for this course, but for food technologies in general, you know, uh, in the future when you go out, when you graduate from USM and you work in the food industry, you might want to, you know, uh, always go to this website to get the latest uh, trends, the latest news about food ingredients, a lot of useful information you can find on this page. For your assignment, the roundtable discussion, uh, this is a main page where you can find a lot of information uh, that you need to prepare for your roundtable discussion. Um, another one is prepared foods. This is also another uh, must-go website for food technologies, students or professional food technologies. You will find a lot of information about the new ingredients and the chemistry, the technology about food ingredients. If you really want to be a competent food technologist, you know, read all this website. And another one is Food Ingredients, the World of Food Ingredients uh, website. This is one, another of my favorite website. You can find a lot of information here uh, on any ingredients, including the ingredients that, uh, ingredients or in ingredient groups that we study in this course. Uh, for example, here, you know, you go, if you go to, this different category, you can see the, dif the different category of food uh, ingredients. So if you go under one of this menu, for example, the world of food ingredients. You will find a lot of information which you can download. Um, for example, here ingredient development where does vanillin come from so what is vanillin vanillin is one of the flavorings uh, agent the flavor um, ingredient that we use in our food uh, which uh, uh, dr fazila will cover this but uh, actually uh, you can download the information from this website for free it's a bit slow I don't know, my internet is slow this morning Oh, no. Never mind, um, but yeah, this is the one. So you can see here, you can download the, the article. You can download the article. And once you download, you know, you will get this full article about vanillin. A lot of information that you want to, you can get. You want to know more about uh, vanillin, which is the main uh, compound in vanilla that we use. Vanilla is widely used as a flavoring. Uh, ingredient for ice cream and uh, bakery products and so on. So these are the three uh, websites, Natural Products Insider, Prepared Foods, and the World of um, Food Ingredients, which I would strongly encourage you to bookmark these three websites and, you know, browse the content of this website. Okay, that's about it this morning. Um, if you want to learn more about me, this is my website. You just uh, go to profkarim.com. 
and you can find out more about my work and what I do in teaching and research, my publication, my publication, and and so on. So I'll uh, I'll be uh, doing some more recordings to um, talk about some of the ingredients uh, that we will learn as part of this course. So have a nice uh, weekend, everyone, and um, have. Don't forget to relax, but make your day also very productive. Okay, thank you.